ओके हाय इट्स मी अगेन ओके समथिंग क्रेजी हैपन टू मी एज आई वाज फिल्मिंग द मार्केट व्हेन आई रीच द द सेंटर ऑफ द मार्केट देयर वाज अ पुलिसमैन हु वाज स्टैंडिंग देयर यू नो रेगुलेटिंग द the traffic he saw me the man called me and he took my phone asked me for my uh for my papers he was saying if i am a journalist i should give him papers he asked me for my professional paper card I was explaining him that it is for YouTube. He didn't know. He didn't have any clue about it. I was explaining what the channel is. He just took my phone. He asked me for my ID card. I I gave him. He put it all in his pocket and told me to go to the police station and wait for him there. I was begging him please forgive me I will never do it again give me this and that he didn't want to listen so I told him where is the police station he explained it to me and I I said so when I reach there what I what am I going to tell the the guys there he said I don't know just go there and I am not even coming there straight when I am finish here I am going to another place I said so What time are you going there? He said he doesn't know. So, long story short, I told him, I explained him this is my phone. I am not a journalist. He said you have no clue. You have you, you should read about the laws before filming in a public place. He said because you have not been to school, that's why you you are filming without knowing anything. Then I explained him I have been to school I have been to university I am I work at the National Assembly I said this is just a YouTube channel Then he said okay go go away get out of here I am not giving you the phone right now Then I went back I stood on the side for like 10 minutes I came back I told him please just is my phone my everything it contains my everything can you please forgive me for once then he told me to go and wait for him at the police car because they have a car there the car was there yang in need with town the car was there standing he told me to go and wait for him at and stand next to the po- police car Then I went there I stood there for like 30 minutes. When he came, he asked me why do you leave? I told him, "Why am I doing this?" I explained him. I showed him my channel. He told me to show him the footage. I showed him. And then he gave me the phone, he gave me my ID card. He didn't say anything. He just gave it to me and told me to go. This is the problem here. Most of people don't know anything about uh YouTubing and vlogging and all these things. So when they see you with a camera, a tripod, they think you are a journalist. And the police is very afraid of the journalists here in this country. They don't like the journalists. Last time I was also arrested in another neighborhood called Jepel. Uh in that place that, that's that's where they make the um passports there also the police took my phone they took me to the station i had to explain everything fortunately the chief was very understanding the police chief was very understanding i explained to him he said that i am doing a great job that what i am doing would help people to understand know more about the city and important places he told me to video the their police station and explain to people that 
that's where they make airport um, passports. So he gave me his card. And when I, I was getting out of that place, the guy who caught me took my phone, took me into the police station. He came and started explaining, okay, I am doing my job because we are having a lot of journalists who are writing a lot of uh, you know, trash about us, the police. So when I saw you filming, I thought you are a journalist, so I came, you know, to inquire about what you are doing here. And he gave me, he, he too gave me his phone. He said, if you have any problem, call me. And you know the funny thing? Today when I had this problem with this policeman, I showed him the card of the chief of the other uh, police station where I went last week. So he told me, go and tell him that I caught you. Go tell him I have your phone. Then I said, okay, maybe I need to negotiate because I can't. It's going to be, I am very busy and this is complicated. So it's always like that. The police and all these people don't know anything about this new, you know, internet stuff. So you are, and they see you with a tripod and all these microphone and a camera or a phone, an iPhone. They think maybe you are doing something, a spy or a journalist trying to write a bad, you know, report on them. So it's always risky and I understand now why uh, there's no many people doing this in this, you know, city. But I don't know, it's kind of discouraging because when he, he got my phone, I was thinking, okay, I need to stop this, I start making videos inside my room and all that. So always tough but anyways I am free I am recording again I guess it's part of the risk because every job has a, its own risks okay I am in the Dakar city let me hurry up and get out of here Yep. Now I am heading back home. I got into trouble. I am out of trouble right now. And I am heading back home. Yeah. So it's a happy ending after all. Yep. I got my pair of shoes for my nephew. No need to stay long here before I got into another trouble. And I know I will pay attention not to film these places where I see policemen standing because I was filming 
the market and the policeman was there I guess he did not like the fact that he is there and I did not ask any permission before I start filming so that's what he doesn't like that's what he, 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 he insisted who gave you the right to film before you start filming you should have permission show me your card and, it, and things like that so I don't know most policemen have this this issue they always want to you know have some type of power wherever they go you know otherwise why would I ask him for permission to film a public at a public place but it's just the idea that he is the most powerful person in that place so he is in control nobody has the right to do anything without asking him and the the problem here you cannot even try to explain them why you have the right to film if you do that they will feel insulted then he will confiscate your your items your cell phones and refuse to give it to you anyway so this is the city look you can see the buildings Yeah, so like I said I am getting ready to travel to the Gambia and I am planning to film my journey I am normally going to spend like at least a week there because every year I go to the Gambia to see my family because that's my second country I don't have the Gambian papers but it's my second country my family is living there we have relocated a long time ago from southern Senegal to Gambia where we have a house so my parents and brothers are there I go there twice a year during the holidays in general usually so it's all good I will try to film in the Gambia too but I don't know how it will go because the Gambian police are much more complicated than the Senegalese police they are very tough so I will have to be very careful not to film at places where the Gambian police are and Ah, huh? no, 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 Okay, so I guess this one is long enough. I'm going to cut the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, I'm going to film more, but I will have to cut this one here because it is already 15 minutes. So thank you. See you in the next video. Big up to yourself. Respect. <laughs>